He is known for his contributions as a composer and pianist in the field of music. He received early piano lessons from composer Hans Maria Dombrowski and went on to study at renowned institutions like the Mozarteum in Salzburg and the Hochschule für Musik Freiburg. His name is Friedrich Zem. In the world of music, one name stands out for his exceptional talent and contributions, Friedrich Zem. Born in Neuzals in Lower Silesia, Zem's musical journey began at a young age. At the age of eight, he received his first piano lessons from the renowned composer Hans Maria Dombrowski in Stettin. It was here that Zem's passion for music started to bloom. In 1941, Zem embarked on his formal music education at the prestigious Mozarteum in Salzburg. Under the tutelage of Walter Lampe and Friedrich Frischenschlager, he honed his skills and expanded his musical knowledge. Despite the challenges posed by the war, Zem's dedication to music remained unwavering. After the war, Zem continued his studies at the Hochschule für Musik in Freiburg, studying under the guidance of Harold Jensmer and Edith Pickt-Axenfeld. These influential teachers further shaped Zem's musical abilities and helped him refine his craft. Zem's talent as a pianist and composer began to shine through, and he embarked on a fruitful career in the world of music. From 1952 to 1956, Zem worked as a private music teacher, pianist, and composer. His passion for music was not limited to his own pursuits, as he dedicated his time to sharing his knowledge and talent with others. In 1956, Zem took on a new role as the head of music at the America House in Freiburg, where he continued to inspire and educate through the power of music. Zem's contributions to the world of music extended beyond his performance and teaching roles. From 1963 to 1985, he served as an editor and worked for the esteemed music publishing house, Schott, in Mainz. During this time, Zem played a crucial role in bringing the works of talented composers to the world, ensuring that their music would be heard and appreciated by generations to come. Sadly, Friedrich Zem passed away on December 4, 2007, in Wiesbaden. However, his legacy as a pianist, composer, and advocate for music education lives on. Zem's profound impact on the field of music is reflected in his compositions and his tireless dedication to sharing the beauty of music with others. His life serves as a reminder of the transformative power of music and its ability to touch the hearts of people across generations. In the world of music, Friedrich Zem was a prolific composer who made a lasting impact with his works. From 1950 to 2007, Zem dedicated himself to his craft, creating a staggering 200 compositions, with a particular focus on chamber music. However, his talents extended far beyond this genre, as he also delved into vocal music, orchestral works, concertos, and even music for piano, organ, and harpsichord. Zem's musical journey was shaped by his studies under the tutelage of renowned composer Harold Jensmer, as well as the influence of greats such as Paul Hindemith, Bela Bartok, and Igor Stravinsky. Drawing inspiration from these masters, Zem's compositions embraced extended tonality, combining avant-garde elements with traditional formal structures. One of Zem's distinctive qualities as a composer was his ability to create music with clear and concise structures. His compositions often employed traditional forms like fugue and rondo, showcasing his skill in crafting catchy and rhythmically vibrant themes. Zem's music had a distinct rhythmic quality that invited listeners to dance along, infusing his works with an infectious energy. Zem's versatility as a composer was evident in his vast repertoire, which included not only serious compositions but also arrangements of international folklore under a pen name. He also ventured into other artistic realms, creating music for theater, radio plays, and film. Zem's dedication to music education was apparent through his educational literature and works specifically tailored for school orchestras and amateur ensembles. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.